Well, my name is Sean McCabe, and I'm the production director at Insomniac Games North Carolina studio. Um, we're a video game company, and if I could sum up my role in the company, what I do on a daily basis is solve problems. And like math is fundamental to almost everything we do, and not just the technical stuff, but also the artistic side. Um, it would surprise some people to know that if you zoomed in on one of those robots, you zoomed all the way in as far as you could get, um, underneath everything is a polygon, and that polygon is going to be made up of triangles. And so even at the basis level of something that looks like it's entirely aesthetic, um, there's, there's still math right there. Um, and, and that's, I mean, that's true of like feature filmmaking with the 3D, but it's also true of just about any game that you ever play. I loved video games in high school. Um, I was not in love with math at any point, and I would never have considered myself to be a great math student by any stretch. Um, I remember always being the person in class that you know finished my test last, just because I wasn't finishing the test first, or you know, just because there were some things that I got a little bit slower than other people. It didn't mean that I wasn't understanding it ultimately, and it certainly doesn't mean that I'm not good at it. Just having some confidence and realizing that I can do these things in my way at my pace. It's interesting today because I have to do all that stuff. Like, I mean, when we solve problems, and again, these can be technical, any other kind of problem. It's not so different than solving a proof. You're using some tools, you know, which theorems, and you're trying to structure them such that you can solve a problem in a logical manner. Um, it could be as simple as, you know, keeping track of a budget. Um, it could be more sophisticated where I'm looking at how much work we have to do, you know, just as a number, and I'm looking at how much we're getting done on a daily basis and trying to estimate, are we going to hit a particular deadline? Because you can tell, you can look at the data and you can draw a line through it, just a simple linear equation, and you can see, I mean, either that line's going to hit above or below, um, you know, at that, at that particular deadline in the future. I mean, it's either at that point that maybe you need extra help, so you need uh, more people on the team. Maybe there's a feature that you're just not going to be able to get in. Um, and so that's, I mean, that's where the problem solving comes in. You know, there's this analysis point, and math can help there. And then there's the problem solving. And a, a lot of that, coincidentally, also, you know, you may run into some kind of math problem you have to solve. Um, it is surprising to me, you know, when you ask for me to think of myself as someone that uses math a lot, because I couldn't have projected that. But um, that's, I mean, that's sort of, sort of what's surprising about life is you, you're, you're never sure where these things can become useful. You know, math and video games, huh? You know, usually I have to do my math homework and then I can play video games. But you know, in, in reality, you know, the two completely meet. This is something that you can do. Somebody made that product. You know, when you go out and you spend 60 bucks or your parents spend 60 bucks, 70 bucks, and you get a video game, people made that. You know, and there, and and you can totally do that. You know, if it's something that, if if this is something that you really feel passionate about, I couldn't imagine um, doing anything else a lot of the time. I really, really love what I do, and um, I feel really lucky to have found something like that.